Commerce Bank Stadium holds just under 70,000 spectators, and they've come out in full force for this one. A fantastic atmosphere here in Minneapolis. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the New York Giants and the Minnesota Vikings. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. Now Jones. And this will be caught. It's Isaiah Hodgins. For me, I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Here's Jones on first and ten. Got a man. That's Richie James. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. Back to throw again. And he's wrapped up. Taken down. The Detroit let him score a touchdown versus holding him to a field goal. That's absolutely huge with the play you just made. Well, you know, he hated taking the loss there on third down. Gano's kick is good. And the Giants are off now to a 3-0 lead. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. They go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Second down, here's Barkley again. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. An extra defender in the secondary for the Vikings here on third down. Looking to throw. Jones. Pressure coming from the Vikings. And they get the, the last run good for two. Here's second and eight. On play action. Cousins. Going for the deep ball. He's got a man complete. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. Fourth down, field goal try coming, so Cousins is off, and on comes Greg Joseph from Minnesota. The kick by Joseph is good, and that will tie us receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense buying time to his jones hit and the ball's out and the vikings pick up the football and his guys will take over at the 30 yard line first down here's the run with cook and some space here. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Delvin Cook, a 15-yard touchdown run. And the Vikings have taken the lead. In as many coaches' meetings as we sit in, we hear the word finish all the time, don't we? And on that play, the back actually finished getting into the end zone, breaking the last tackle. Tried to wrap up, tried to use the proper technique, just wasn't able to get it done. They go play action. Cousins. Blitz coming and down he goes. Is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you. And you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack resulted. Room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Second down, they go right back to Cook. And oh, he coughed it up. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Cousins now to throw on first down. 
And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. From the red zone now, Cousins. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Yeah, every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. On third down, Cousins. And it's caught. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. On second and goal, Cook waiting in the backfield all alone. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he will take this one into the end zone for the Viking touchdown. Dalvin Cook with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Vikings go up by two touchdowns. Okay, the first drive ended in three. This time they take it down and punch it in the end zone. So that first drive felt like they were just gathering knowledge, didn't it? Just enough to keep the field goal on the first one. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing his Cousins. Open man is... Now the ball comes loose. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. Good starting field position for the New York Giants here as they come up first and 10 at the 45. And they're able to work this across midfield to the back-to-back -back good plays. Have them on the move on first down. Back to throw. Jones. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. He hit his first. This one from 38. Gano's kick is good. And a second field goal here gets him back within 11 now. It's 17 to 6. Because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. On second and a couple. Cousins. And he can't get away from the pressure. The Giants get there. For quarters three and four. Yeah, they did really well on that one. That's exactly what they need to keep doing if they want to change their fortunes in this game. Cousins. Under pressure, they got him again. Five in the secondary now for the Giants here on third. Throwing, Cousins. He's got his man, TJ Hawkinson. To the first down marker, excellent defense, good tackling. Now Cousins on fourth down. Throw left side complete. That's Osborne. So the drive stays alive after the fourth down conversion. First and ten inside the 30. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Osborne. Last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now Cousins. The quick slant caught. They'll run with Cook. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. It's Dalvin Cook there with a one-yard touchdown run. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protected. It has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Chandon Sullivan, and the Vikings are going to take possession of the football. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Cousins. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. TJ Hawkinson. 
from three yards out. And the Vikings are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Joseph connects on the extra point. And you definitely saw his coaches, teammates come over to him on the sideline, trying to help him shake it off because in this game, his team is down right now. So it's important to make sure you get some confidence back for both the quarterback and the entire offense. Otherwise, total number that they forced in this runaway contest. On second and 10, Jones. The Vikings after it, and they get there for the sack. They completed the pass. Probably would have been better off just dropping the football and making an incompletion as opposed to catching it and losing that kind of yardage. He's going to look deep down the field. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. On right, second down, it's Cook again. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside with 15. And the quarter, this is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the... Rush coming, and he's taken down. Tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Flush to it, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Game thus far. Fourth down, field goal try coming, so Cousins is off, and on comes Greg Joseph from Minnesota. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. And that is no good. Right. Was well in hand. That kick there was more for cosmetics, you know, to add to their score. Not getting it, that shouldn't harm them at all. Now Jones throwing to start the drive. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. For a new contract. Jones on first down. He's going to wind up and air it out. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete. But so the ball's moved to about the one after the penalty. First and goal. Barkley will score. Touchdown, New York. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Can own the extra point, and that'll cut the lead down to 18. A lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Got an open man finding Jefferson. Fourth down, field goal try coming, so Cousins is off, and on comes Greg Joseph from Minnesota. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. Joseph's got it, and that will extend their lead even further. Um, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew he was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Here's Jones on first and 10. Out route pass complete to Bellinger. So tackle him almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. To throw again on second down, Jones. He finds him again, Saquon Barkley. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. And it's incomplete. They can make it. And they turn it away. So the final seconds have ticked away in this Minnesota victory. And when you break it down, you know, this was just a thoroughly dominating performance. And I truly thought that we had a tight game going into this. I think you felt the same way based on the conversation after the production meeting. Pretty much done, and the crowd stayed with it to celebrate because they're like, 
Let's enjoy watching our team play this well. This is fun.